Next question is from Abby Perler. When training athletes, what are your go-to exercises and mobility drills? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> it's complex. I know, it depends on the sport, right? Yeah. Uh, you're definitely going to do mobility for the whole body because you want to maintain strength in, in you know, far ranges of motion. Sports challenges your body in ways that are often imp- unpredictable, right? So in the gym, everything's very controlled. You know what a squat looks like. You know what an overhead press looks like, and you can get strong in that range of motion. But when you're playing a sport – Oftentimes, you have to reach outside of those ranges of motion and twist and do things explosively. Mm-hmm. And this is where injury tends to occur. So uh, mobility work, whole body mobility work is a must for almost every single athlete. I mentioned earlier in the, in the first question, the prime bundle. Um, that would be uh, appropriate for athletes. Yeah, that's the. I mean, that's the first place to start. And you're right. Like, there's so many more variables with the athletes that if you're just training somebody in the gym to get results and get muscular, and uh, you know, it's pretty controlled. That's one thing. But you know, in terms of any athlete, you really have to assess their overall movement in their ability to to move properly and stabilize properly yeah. and to be able to have strength and control and so uh really like that is the that's the prerequisite to, to any uh, pursuit athletic wise you have to be able to have like ultimate control of your body uh because you are going to be doing things that are going to ramp up more explosively uh and you have to be able to stabilize just as uh intensely as you are able to then explosively uh you know produce that kind of force well it's hard to answer something like this because every athlete's going to be different Mm -hmm. Uh, training a a swimmer versus a wrestler versus a basketball player versus a football player the type of drills that you're doing with them are going to be unique to each of them it's even different from one football player to exactly right so it's really hard to give but i will give you some uh, somewhat of a specific answer that i think is common that uh, i would focus on with almost all athletes um and that's hip stuff Um, both good hip mobility and control and then power and strength in your hips. Uh, Just because almost all sports uh, require a lot of power to come from there. I don't care what you're doing. Having powerful hips is going to transfer over to almost any sport that you play. Yeah, and I I would throw core in there because when we're talking about hips from an athletic standpoint, we're talking about the lumbo-pelvic hip area, which includes the muscles that stabilize the hips, which is the, the muscles of the core. And if you don't have good, stable, strong core muscles, but you have very powerful hip muscles, um, you're, you're asking. Gonna blow out. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna definitely uh, hurt yourself. So those are the, some of the things you might want to focus on. I agree 100 uh, percent with Adam. It does depend on the person, and you know, it also depends on where they are at their in terms of how long they've been playing sports and their age. I mean. It, you know, early on, it's very appropriate to just build general strength, right? Yeah. If you have a younger athlete and they just got started in sports, um, you want to build general strength, uh, squats and deadlifts and overhead presses and rows and stuff that we recommend uh, to most people. As they become more advanced, as the sports become more specific, then the exercises start to become more specific. Whereas a full squat might have been perfectly appropriate for general strength, a half or quarter squat might be better with an athlete who's, let's say, college age, who now is looking for a particular type of explosive power out of, a, you know, to jump or whatever. Well, I think of uh, the world class uh, coaches that have been on our show and have talked about like how you know they would build the ultimate athlete and how you know general GPP. I, I forget the acronym for that, but it's general play and and uh, progression. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the last one is, but uh, basically, it's it's overall understanding of the body you know we talk about proprioception a bit about you know understanding where you are in terms of space and and being able to react appropriately uh, but really having like that ultimate understanding of you know what the movement how to navigate in every aspect of that movement is the the first thing to really build yep. off of and then after that we start to then build up the base the base strength and and so this is where we get into more of the uh, you know bi-loaded uh, type of, of, of exercises well the general answer would be mass performance. I mean, that's we address yeah. that in that. So if it, if because we don't know who this exact athlete is, what we're training for, and all the specifics about them, it's hard to answer like a really good detailed question for this person. But the generic answer is, you know, a maps performance would be the foundation. The all the movements and the things in there where uh, we hit all the points of, that everybody's making and addressing, and then beyond that is when it gets really specific, right? So 
that uh, any person, any athlete would would definitely get benefit by going through performance. And then when they get the next level of benefit would be more specific to that person and their sport. But generally speaking, the things that we're all, everything from core to unilateral work to hip stuff, everything we're talking about, all of that is incorporated in proprioception. All that's incorporated uh, in plyometrics. All oh, that's yeah. incorporated. We took all in, that into account when we were building and drafting that because you want to like take those those fundamental elements of what produces a, a, an awesome athlete. And that's, you know, to be able to have that foundational strength and explosive strength and be able to have strength in multiple directions and movement and then have, uh, you know, power and, and power and explosivity, but under control. And then also have that endurance and that gas tank that's going to carry you through, uh, you know, any of those endeavors. Yeah, so yeah, if you were to follow uh, like mass performance is the, I, I would say uh, the, the best programmed general athletic workout you're going to find. Um, and if you were to follow it alongside specific drills that your coach is having you do, right. now you've got yourself uh, a great program. Uh, it also has mobility in it. But like, just to give you a breakdown, right? Um, and this is kind of how we put we wrote maps performance. If you're training yourself and you're an athlete, or if you're a trainer training athletes, you want to work on maximal strength. That's probably where you want to start. Then you start to move through multiplanar strength, right? Getting the person to not just be strong, but to be strong in different directions. You want to work on explosive power. That's extremely important in almost every sport I can think of. Being able to control your strength explosively uh, will just make you a better athlete. And then ultimately, of course, you want to have some stamina. There's always a stamina element with most sports that I can think of. Even an explosive sport, sport like football, that where they stop consistently and they do plays, you need to be able to repeat that over and over and over again. So there's definitely a stamina yeah. component. And 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 to to you know add to that just a bit because I've gotten a lot of questions from athletes about their specific sport, how they would use maps performance. So on the mobility days is really where you want to be able to upkeep your your skills training. So every sport has specificity to it in terms of like movements that you know are really specific to that sport. And to be able to keep and sharpen those skills is very important. Uh, so to add those within those mobility days, I would highly suggest while you're also doing the weight training. 